Hi everyone, this is Ashish Diani. Welcome to Infosec Train and today we are going to discuss about authentication attacks. So when we are talking about authentication attacks, we should first understand what is authentication. So authentication means it is a process of verifying the identity of a given user or client. So it's you can also say that it's making sure that there are they are really who the user is claiming to be right so websites they are exposed to anyone who is connected to the internet so robust authentication mechanisms these are integral aspect of effective web security when we are talking about the authentication so we have three major authentication factors something you know something you have something you are something you know means like your password or pin like that you remember then we have something you have. Something you have means some something that you possess, right? So it is also known as possession factor, like your mobile phone or security token or any access card, right? So that is something you have. And then something you are means your biometrics, right? Like fingerprint or facial recognition is there nowadays. Uh, iris scanners, retina scanners are there for authentication. So those are authentication factors. Now, these authentication vulnerabilities, they arise because the authentication mechanisms are weak and they fail to protect against brute force attacks. Then there are some logic flaws as well. Poor coding is implemented and that allow authentication mechanism to be bypassed entirely. So now what we'll be doing, we'll be looking that how authentication can be exploited. So what we have, we have a website and we will be using this website. Now I have to do authentication attack here. So I have a username and password, Wiener and Peter. So what will I do? I will click on forgot password, enter the username as Wiener, submit it. And it says, please check your email for password, reset password link. I'll go to email client. In email client, I can see there is a link and it asked me for a new password. So I entered some new password. Right. And I clicked on submit. Right. Now, if I go back here in the proxy tab, I can see that there is a forgot password request which is going right i'll send that request to the repeater and in repeater if i remove this right and i remove it from here as well and i send the request right it says 302 found and follow redirection http okay right so it is working fine Right. So what will I do now? I will again send the same request. Right. I'll again update my password. I'll again do forgot password. I'll enter the username as Wiener. I'll submit it. Go to email client. Right. Click on the link for password reset. New password. ABC and abc right submit that request and then go back to your proxy again so the latest request for password forgot forgot password you are getting send that to the repeater right and in that latest request what will i do i will remove this token so the token was not being checked so I'm removing that token and instead of username, I'll write Carlos and the password will be, let's say ABCD, right? And when I send this request, right, it says 302 found, follow redirection, done, right? When I go back to my account, I can write Carlos as the username and a b c d as the password let's try if we are able to log in so you are able to log in your email is this and your username is this so i'm logged in to someone else's account 
So that's how I bypassed the authentication. So this was about authentication attack. Now when we are talking about the mitigation of authentication attacks, so what we should have, you have, we have to take care with the user credentials. Don't count on users for security, prevent username enumeration, implement robust brute force protection. So all these things you have to follow if you want to mitigate the risk from authentication attacks. So that's it. And thank you so much. See you in the next video.